Well, it's ten o'clock. Let's come before the Lord and bring this day to its close. Father God, we come before you at the close of this day with all that it has been, with all that's on our hearts, in our minds, on our thoughts. And Lord, we bring before you the things of this day, praying that you would open our hearts, bring us to a place of reflection where we may lay all that this day has been, good, bad and indifferent before you lord touch our hearts and minds now open our thoughts the lord almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end amen our help is in the name of the lord who made heaven and earth a moment of reflection on the day so far. And we pray. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Psalm 139 O Lord, you have searched me out and known me. You know my sitting down and my rising up. You discern my thoughts from afar. You mark out my journeys and my resting place and are acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word upon my tongue, but you, O Lord, know it altogether. You encompass me behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go then from your spirit, or where can I flee from your presence? If I climb up to the heaven, you are there. If I make the grave my bed, you are there also. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me, your right hand hold me fast. If I say, surely, the darkness will cover me, and the light around me turn to night. Even darkness is no darkness with you. The night and the day are as one. For you yourself created my inmost parts and knit me together in my mother's womb. I will thank you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvellous are your works, my soul knows well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in secret and woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my form as yet unfinished. 
already in your book were all my members written as day by day they were fashioned when as yet there was none of them how deep are your counsels to me o god how great is the sum of them if i count them they are more in number than the sand and at the end i am still in your presence glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever amen isaiah 58 verses 6 and 7 is this not the fast that i choose to loose the bonds of injustice to undo the thongs of the yoke to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin into your hands o lord i commend my spirit into your hands o lord i commend my spirit for you have redeemed me lord god of truth i commend my spirit glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit into your hands o lord i commend my spirit keep me as the apple of your eye hide me under the shadow of your wings christ died for us so that whether we wake or sleep we might live with him Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever amen christ died for us so that whether we wake or sleep we might live with him father god we come to you this night asking that you might show us all that this day has held that we might understand it as you understand it that we might recognize your voice your touch your heartbeat and lord as we sift through the fragments of this day as we form them into piles of sun, of peace, of rain, of darkness. As we think of the things that we've done and reflect on the things we could have done, should have done, we come before you and as we reflect the sorrow in our hearts over the things that have gone wrong on the errors that we have made or we reflect also on the pain that others may have inflicted and we looking at your love reveling in your salvation we forgive them father may they know your peace and blessing and may those we've wounded May they know your touch this night and may we be reconciled. May the separations that come through difference, through desire, through foolishness, may they be thrown 
into the pit, into that place where you remember them not. And Lord, we thank you for that marvellous word, metanoia. That word which says that you seeing our sin choose to forget what it is. That in seeing our sin and forgetting what it is, what it did, where it came from, tossing it into the pit, into the depth, you regard us only as forgiven, as reconciled as yours. So, Father God, in that wonderful knowledge that you choose to forgive, that you choose knowing what it is to not know what it is, we pray that you might tomorrow raise us to be people with the same mindset. Lord, give us compassion. Give us a heart that looks at Ukraine and responds not just for the people of Ukraine, but for the families in Russia who are losing young ones, family members in this conflict also. That those who are sent those in the places they are sent to are losing their lives to a bigger power than themselves. And Lord, we acknowledge that to be sin. We acknowledge that to be wrong desires. So we pray for all engaged in conflict this night. We pray for those whose lives will be taken in foolish conflict. Father God, we pray for those who this night live in fear, that they might know your peace, your presence, your healing and your comfort. But as we pray for those around the world, we stop for a moment. We lift to you the places, the situations, the obvious like Ukraine, the passed by like Syria, the lost in the noise places like Saudi, the Tigray and Somalia and Eritrea and Ethiopia and Nigeria, all that's happening between Iran and Iraq, apparently, for North and South Korea, for India and China, for the places that perhaps are only known to us through family connections. Lord, we stop and we lift those places to you, asking for your light, your love, your peace and your healing. we pray for the people, those known only to us perhaps, those who form part of our family, our communities, our friends. Lord, we lift to you those needs we ask that you be God in the lives of Harry and Damien Margaret and John and Graham and Gillian for Kath and for the Mitchells for Sue and Roger and Amy for Gillian and Luke and Simon and Josh even Effie, for Stacy, for Gabriella, for the wider family and their needs, for Marianne and Mo and George, and for Derek, 
for Philip and Mabel Rose and for June that you touch her in her needs and in her housing. For Estherline Lord and for Jill. For June Cottrell and her needs and her recovery. For Ian and for Trish as she cares for her man and for Olive as she comes alongside them. For Sue Shakespeare and Pat Treadwell and his family and needs for Max Popov. For his wife and daughter also with him in Keith. For Bob and Jill. For Rosemary. A member of St Andrews who, ill at this time, was not playing the organ tonight. Lord, we pray for Lorena in isolation and Burton with a chest infection and other infections at this time. For Enid and for so many of the people. Father, we pause and we Gather up those needs. We look maybe at images around our room, images in our mind of those for whom we pray. And in the stillness of wherever we are, we pray that you would be God in their lives and in ours. And as Janet adds to the list for Rosemary, Lord, for whatever her needs are you know we pray that your light would shine into wherever and whatever needs are hers at this time and for those who pray those who care for this woman Lord may your peace may your light shine on them also we pray for all all we know, all the needs we know. Not telling you to act, but asking you to be just who you are. For that is surely enough. Lord, we come before you knowing that we have nothing outside of you. That our treasures are shallow things. That our righteousness is like rags. That our hopes are only hope when pinned on you, Lord. And so we gather up the day and the people for whom we pray and the places. We thank you that you, who are love, send Jesus into this world that through his death life might be ours. And we pray by the power of your Spirit. by the relationships that you have conferred on us, causing us to bear the name Beloved, justified, forgiven. But we in you, Lord, your church, might know your peace, may know this night your rest, and may tomorrow wait to proclaim in our lives your glory. And this we ask, Lord, through 
those words that our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May God bless us, that in us may be found love and humility, obedience and thanksgiving, discipline, gentleness, and peace. Amen. Thanks.